How's it going guys? Uh, I'm just making a quick video uh, showing the Nitrogen OS running on the Pixel 2 XL. Uh, this is the latest version of Nitrogen. Um, the 201-804-06. And uh, just going to show you a quick uh, video of what it can do and what it looks like. Um, it does come with the Google Now launcher, but it has a lot of different things. For example, you can change the color of your menu. Like, as you can see, everything is black. You can change the accent color. Um, to do that, it's over here on display. We have Advanced, and we have Color Manager. So you can see it has light, dark, black. And in the device accent, you can change the color. So let's ch just change it to yellow, and as you can see, everything will change to yellow and black. Um, another thing would be personalization, which adds a lot of features to your device. I'm just going to go over it through the main ones. Um, status bar items, uh, as you can see, I changed my clock to the left, and I have a little battery icon right here uh, showing me, you know, uh, my battery and it looks pretty different it looks unique um, over here on navigation settings we have a really cool feature which is called post what it allows us to do is hold on, I'll show you real quick if we play any music like this it'll show an equalizer right here on the on the nav bar so that's really really awesome that's honestly one of my favorite features about it i really like that and it works with youtube as well as uh, other apps so let's go back um to personalization nav bar another thing you can do right here in nav bar is add more buttons uh down to your nav bar as you can see i have a fourth button which allows me to if i click it once it will show my it will drag down my uh, notification panel. If I if I hold it in, it'll actually lock my device. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, you can change all of that right here on navigation bar. Uh, gestures. I don't think I have messed with them, this one too much. You can find some cool stuff. Uh, like you can double tap your phone. I'm pretty sure this one was on. The Faults on the Google Pixel original ROM, but I may be wrong. Uh, so we have also lock screen. You can enable media art, lock screen charging info, which I have to set to on. This one is really nice because it shows the actual uh, amps that are going in your phone and what's going on. It shows the temperature of your battery. It's really really useful. And yes, uh, this weather thing, it was actually broken for me. It didn't, whenever I click show weather, it just says no weather information available. I don't know why. Uh, if, an, if anybody gets that to work, please let me know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, also in the power menu here, you can set uh, different uh, options. Uh, let me press the power button on my phone. So as you can see, you can take a screenshot, flashlight, advanced reboot, which will take you to a boot loader. And yeah, you can have different things there. Uh, recent apps. Oh, this is for uh, whenever you open this. Uh, the Google Pixel lags on this button, which clears all your apps. And this one has it right there. Uh, so you can close everything at once and you can change the position of it as well, which is really nice. Uh, over here, notifications, uh, I haven't messed with this one too much, but it has vibrate on connect, you know, stuff like that. Uh, over here in miscellaneous, we have the wake lock blockers, um, app ops, which I'm pretty sure this one, you, you can just turn off different things about it. Like you can have, let's say Google not record audio at all. So you can block that, and you can't do that on the original ROM. Um, so that's pretty much it. 
um, all of these features are here, like there's a lot to mess with, but those are the main things that are really useful. Um, so if you like this video, please let me know and leave a like and thanks for watching.